Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're good. Uh, just back from the gym. Just did some mobility and some cardio. But today's video, we are talking about my favorite ab workouts. Uh, my core, my go-to core and ab training that I do with my core workout. It, it always rotates. So these that I'm going to show you in the video are staples that I always have but I try and change it and mix it up and play around with it so it's not too boring um, keeps it more interesting it's just like the arm work workout I did I'm going to show you individually what I do and explain a little bit of why I do them however um, when I do abs I tend to do them as a giant set so I'll probably do about three sets and giant sets of each uh, for about 12 to 15 reps or 12 reps you want to keep it simple um, it's just to keep the intensity on training my abs I always like to train them either before a session and uh, so let's say before a bodybuilding session or um, I make time to train them when I do my mobility workouts as well if you're going to train your core and your abs um, train them seriously train them as much as you would train your chest your biceps Put as much intensity into training your core as you do training every other body part. So prioritize them. Having a strong core, um, not just having abs, visible abs, but a strong core, which is all around the stomach, helps with overhead pressing, um, it helps with squats, helps with deadlifts, a lot of Olympic movements. We need a, a strong core. So let's get to the video and I'll explain to you my favorite workouts. So first workout, we are going to be doing the broom sweep. Now this is a classic that, you know, it's been around for a while. Um, I do these to target my obliques. Now a lot of people tend to use weights to do um, obliques, so side crunches. Uh, I don't do that. I don't do anything that's weighted when it comes to oblique sessions. Every time I twist either to the left or the right, take a deep breath in before you twist and then out and squeeze your obliques hard you can every time you twist so making sure that you're not just going through the motions you are actually contracting the muscle especially your obliques every time you twist to the left or to the right um, I usually tend to do about three sets of these and stick to about I would say 12 so alternating each side. The hanging leg raises is a, is a pretty difficult one for a lot of people, but if you can get this right, it's great for developing your core. So keeping your legs straight, uh, taking a deep breath in before you go up, before you take your legs up and deep breath out. Now I like to take my legs all the way up, almost towards the bar. I can really work my core a lot more by taking my legs all the way up try not to swing too much that's another rule too many people swing a lot on these on this workout so try and keep it nice and controlled contract your lats because that would help you uh, stay up So next we have, same thing again, hanging leg raises, but this time with your knees tucked, knees bent. Now this is slightly easier, uh, a slightly easier version. Again, keeping it nice and controlled. Focus on your breathing. Out when you go up, in when you come down. Simple. Now a great alternative to these two, if you can't hang off you know, the bar, is doing them on the mat to start. So same thing, straight leg raises and knees bent leg raises. You can, those can be done on the mat if you struggle with hanging off a bar. We have the barbell rollout. It is very similar to a stability ball rollout on your knees and the ab wheel rollout, but I like to use the barbell. So when you roll the bar all the way out, take a deep breath out. And when you roll the bar in, take a deep breath in. 
Now try and keep the eccentric pace. So when you roll out the bar, slow it down. Again, two to three seconds tempo. Nice and slow when you roll it out and then in as quick as you can. So out nice and slow. With the rollouts, it really works your core, really targets your core. Um, if you haven't done these before, try it. It is brutal. Um, I would even sometimes take the tempo to a five second tempo when I'm going all the way down. Okay, so next we have the rings pike. Um, now this one is, again, a difficult one, um, but it really is one of my favorites when it comes to working my core and um, my abs as well. Uh, it's a tricky movement to do. I'm using the rings. Uh, but you can use a stability ball as well to do these if, if um, you find it difficult to use the rings or you can use a TRX um, TRX rope with this again tempo is key so make sure when you go up you breathe in keep it nice and steady when you go out, you breathe out and then you come all the way out. So you want to try and make sure that your whole body is aligned in a straight line when you come back down. Again, nice and controlled, keeping the tempo again to another to about two to three. I would also, with where I place my hands, I always try and make sure that I place them shoulder width apart. But these are amazing for your core. So if you haven't done these, try them. Um, you can start with a stability ball and then you can, you know, progress up to using the rings. Next, we come to the V-ups. Now, this you are going to be starting with your feet off the floor, your hands off the floor, as you can see in the video. And you will slowly try and bring those two together. So feet off the floor, hands off the floor and come up and meet with each other. So deep breath in when you're down and breathe out when you come up. When you breathe out when you come up, squeeze your abs. So deep breath in and out when you come up. Again, try and keep the tempo nice and controlled. No rushing it, no rushing the movement. That's the one of the most important things I would say when it comes to core, don't rush the movements. So the next one is a strange one. Uh, I actually don't know the name for it. So I just call it the V-Up Seesaw. <laughs> um, this one, again, you start with, if you notice how I started in the beginning, you crunched up almost into a ball and then you open up and out into the V-Up position as you were, as, as you saw before. So feet off the floor, hands uh, behind you off the floor as well. And you almost do a, you're almost going to be rocking back and forth without touching the floor, without your legs, feet touching the floor and your hands. So you're just in a rocking position. As you can see, my abs are continuously contracted throughout the movement. So you're almost trying to stay on your glutes and your lower back as you rock back and forth. Again, this one you have to be careful. It's, it is quite difficult to get right. It's one that I'm actually still learning to really, really get right. But again, I dare you to do these and your abs will be sore, insanely sore. Um, and these are great also um, for your lower back. So again, 12 to 15 reps. Try and keep it nice and controlled. Don't rush it. It's not a race. So next we have the Superman, which is a great, great core workout that I love doing. Um, you always know how strong your core is getting is uh, when you can do these easily and comfortably without shaking or without you know 
shaking to one side or the other. Now you start with your sh hands shoulder width apart on the mats. I like to point my hands out slightly also on the floor and then my feet again sh slightly wider than my hips. So you want to take up your right arm and your left leg at the same time. Now again if this is one that I'm still trying to get 100% right but it's far better the it's it's such a great test to how strong your core is getting again so try and do these i try and keep to about 12 reps alternate um each side or you can stick to one side and you do six on one side and then change to do six on the other side if you want to make this harder someone told me to do this and i thought it was ridiculous but close your eyes and do them <laughs> it makes it a lot more difficult um, but actually makes you focus a lot more on the movement. What I've also done is put an easier version. So this one will be on your knees. Same principle. And then when you can really get the hang of it on the easier version, you can progress up to the harder version. So the Superman. And next we have the ball slams. Now this one is another weird one that a lot of people don't think about doing, but it is another great core cool work, workout. Now, you're not just slamming the ball without any thought. So there's a point to this workout. So before you slam the ball, when you take the ball up, take a deep breath in. And when you slam the ball down, you want to crunch down with your abs and then slam the ball. You should be crunching in before you slam that ball down. Your arms will be doing some work, but you're focusing on your core on this one. You can also do, if you can't slam the ball on the floor in your gym, get one of those boxes where you can jump those plyo boxes and slam the ball on that. Um, it's the same effect. But yeah, and again, another 12 to 15 reps in these three sets. Really use your core when you slam the ball on the floor. Breathing is very is, is key again with this one. Take a deep breath in when you take your arms over your head. Breathe out and you slam the ball down onto the floor. So there you have it. Um, before I sign off, just again reiter reiterate the point of it's not about it's not a race when you're training your core. Intensity, yes, but time under tension is very important when you train your core and your abs. Um, train them just as hard as you will train every body part. So remember that. Um, Play around with the tempo, two seconds, three seconds of the eccentric phase of all the movements. Focus on breathing when it comes to training your core. That's another one that's uh, very important. And finally, if you're finding certain movements difficult, I suggest, you know, start with an easier version as I've explained on some of the workouts and then build up to a more difficult, um, the more challenging uh uh, what a part of the w workout so don't you know uh, try and force certain movements if it doesn't feel right if you have lower back pain uh, when you're doing certain of the uh, uh, workouts some of it will be discomfort and that's to be expected so just remember that it just means you need to do more core workout actually to improve on your lower back and maybe add some lower back work um, some posterior chain work, so uh, glute ham raises are, are great and uh, glute bridges. I hope you guys found some of this in info useful into how I approach my core training. Leave a comment of any questions you have and I'll be glad to answer any of them because I'm sure I probably forgot a few things. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to do so. Um, and looking forward to 
bringing out more videos and uh, getting more comfortable in front of the camera. Thank you all for watching. Till next time, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.